The Xerox Palo Alto Research Center was founded in 1970, chartered with the mission to create the Office of the Future. The Learning Research Group, initially led by Alan Kay and later by Adele Goldberg as the Xerox Principal Scientist and Research Laboratory Manager, envisioned this Office of the Future to be packaged as a portable, easy-to-use personal dynamic medium. This Dynabook would serve as the primary communication and computation device used by everyone, children and adults, consumers, as well as computer engineers, much as everyone relied on paper and pencil. The real benefit in using a computer comes when anyone can tell a computer what to do in order to have a personal thinking partner. The research challenge was to invent a new breed of software that would enable everyone to create computer models of real-world phenomenon, to use such models to understand how the world works, socially, economically, and politically. Computer-implemented models of how a person believes the world works could be shared, discussed, explored, modified, and plugged together, all to help build an inquiry approach to learning. Adele joined the Learning Research Group to explore the use of new approaches to computer programming by children and adults, working especially with children to see what they thought possible, and notably inside the public school system, in order to understand political and economic barriers to widespread computer access. The evolving Xerox research system called Smalltalk represented to software engineers a major shift in software architecture to object-oriented technology, which dominates the industry today. The first Smalltalk was designed and implemented in 1972, followed by several iterations of redesign and implementation on both proprietary Xerox research machines, and the growing number of standard microprocessors. The first public release of the Smalltalk system was 1981. Smalltalk initially ran on the Alto, Xerox's first personal workstation. The Alto's client-server architecture moved computing beyond the world of large, centralized mainframes and served as an ideal platform for simulating the software and vision for the Dynabook. Smalltalk is a software development environment that enables programs to be improved incrementally without being entirely rewritten. This innovation revolutionized the software industry and influenced later programming systems and the methodologies used to manage and develop systems. Adele and Allen's research team produced some historic firsts. The first overlapping Windows user interface, the first fully object-oriented programming language and development environment, the first application delivery system fully portable across all major commercial workstations, the first fully integrated multimedia system, early demonstrations of interactive simulations and books, and one of the earliest video conferencing systems designed to support collaboration in teams whose members are geographically dispersed. Around 1979, the research began its transition to a commercial program through the Xerox Special Information Systems Division and the U.S. Intelligence Community Analysts, with an information system that integrated document management, satellite imagery, cross-spreadsheet analysis, and geographic mapping. Under Adele's leadership, the August 1981 issue of Byte magazine was dedicated to publishing Smalltalk articles. Smalltalk 80 was released employing one of the earliest examples of cross-company and cross-university standards cooperation to enable the ability to broadly distribute source code for a language and its implementation. In the mid-80s, Park Place Systems was formed with Adele as founding CEO and chairman. It was the first commercial venture-backed spinoff from Xerox Park. Park Place Systems delivered its object works and visual works products on all major workstations. Visual works offered a robust approach to graphically constructing interactive applications that were fully portable across these workstations. Park Place delivered to Fortune 500 companies both object-oriented technology and the methodology tools and processes for managing object-oriented project teams. Adele continues her interest in the Dynabook ideal through her support for the San Francisco Exploratorium and Viewpoints Research in helping to create a company to deliver online courses in middle and high school level mathematics and in designing systems to support international research collaborations and virtual project teams engaged in large-scale drug development.